I have modified the scenario a, a decent bit, actually. Overall, just a bit of balance, retimings, making things a bit more often, making things a little bit more rare, adding in a couple events. We start with five people now instead of four. A little more steel and wood to compensate, also the steel club to help compensate for that. I think we also get a spare flak jacket too, just to ensure that more than one person is armored. The Shambler Assaults happen a lot more often, the Shambler Swarms are a lot rarer because the Swarms just kind of wander around the map edge, the Assaults actually come at you. I enabled the enemy raids because the normal sort of guy with knife events never really happened because there was too much going on otherwise, so I've ensured that that happens along with ship chunk drops. I've removed the Strange Signal since that's not really meant to be a normal event that fires, that's kind of like a specific situation where if you've managed to abandon your monolith through migration and abandoning zones and all that it'll sort of follow you through that event it's nothing that's really meant to be spammed interesting that we can but not very necessary i'm just kind of moved around timings for the most part on stuff i mean i'll, I'll bring this stuff up on screen now for you if you'd like to look through it feel free to pause and and glance through but generally nothing too bad i think just the fifth colonist and ensuring that general enemy raids happen are going to be probably the biggest things going on. We're still Randy Random on Strive to Survive. The world seed is Pepper with other default settings. Another kind of normal temperate forest area with year-round growing at 23.90 degrees north, 20.70 degrees east. It is northeast of Isle Toxo. The map size this time is truly default, not going 275 by 275. I feel like 250 is probably okay. It is a large hills area as well, so hopefully anything that does spawn at the edge of the map can still maybe possibly see us and come at us. Uh, I'm not sure. We are once again the Void Followers, though something to note with the Void Followers this time, because I didn't really look at it before because I figured, oh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'm not very familiar with ideology stuff, Overall, I never played the DLC. You should really look at it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's pretty important. It it varies a little bit depending with these like pre-made ones. There's a little bit of changes, but this time around we we venerate the cow. We kind of worship the cow. The cow is cool. We like cows. Don't not like cows. A lot of the furniture and stuff is mandated through this, so we use like the neo pillows and everything to to get done with stuff. The biggest stuff, though, uh, kind of huge. Our void study is very efficient at a plus fifty percent efficiency with void study. However, our research speed is very slow, fifty percent. It's cut in half. Everything takes twice as long. And sometimes this can randomize into extremely slow. That is awful news. Extremely slow is 25% speed. It takes four times longer to research anything base. I don't know what you would do for that. I'm not sure if the point contribution from the book reading is also modified by this. I assume it is. Comfort though for our folks seems to always be just ignored. We don't really care about comfort uh, at all. We could just sleep on the floor and it's fine. In fact, we prefer sleeping on slab beds, it turns out. I did use the random plus mod to generate the pawns. I, I like this mod because it still keeps things very fair, just randomizing very, very rapidly with specific filters. The specific filters that I've gone for is just allow none for incapability and health conditions, no addiction. So you don't have any addictions and you're not incapable of anything, i.e. you're capable of all of it. Big fan of this mod because it keeps things very, very fair. Prepare carefully allows you to kind of cheat with the point system and sort of customize pawns that normally wouldn't be able to exist with really odd conflicting traits and stats, whereas this keeps everything much more legitimate. We have again stack of pancakes because I had you for a bit, but you didn't really get to do a whole lot before it all went down. So I'm just I'm adding you in first off to ensure that you get a, a proper go. You are steadfast, a night owl with chemical fascination, and you're coming in with eight wake up, which is pretty cool, but I don't really know how to source more wake up unless we get lucky. So hopefully you don't really get addicted to that. Your chemical fascination is maybe a bit of a problem, but your plant skill is high enough that we can maybe fulfill that with smoke leaf or psychite tea or something like that. 
and she's got a really cool hairstyle, so like, pff, why not, you know? I love the hair-beard combo, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm, uh, totally jealous. Secondly is KPO. You cannot defend yourself. You are neurotic, though, which is kind of fun, and then ascetic. Really cool with art, medical, intellectual. You're the researcher slash doctor who can also put together some, like, art statue things for us with you being neurotic is kind of a cool thing just to increase that global brick speed by plus 20% at the risk of a little more mental break threshold. But aesthetic is a nice counterpart for that because you don't really care too much about things. Our ideology generally doesn't seem to care too much about luxuries, so I think... I think it works out. Thirdly is Neophyte, Space Marine, so you are the defense. You can also cook a little bit because you're a gourmand, so you eat a little more, which... I mean, you're you're a big boy. It's a, it's a, a, a big pawn. You eat a little bit more, and that's okay. You're an optimist, you're a bit abrasive, though. So a little bit of inter-colony conflict going on. Please... Do not murder anybody after an argument. You're really good with melee. Your bites hurt, Neophyte. That's too rough. Could be worse. He could have a hand talon or something. Speaking of hand talon, fourth up is Zello, who does start with a hand talon. A kind of a nice thing because it doesn't actually reduce your manipulation at all. It retracts into your palm. So it doesn't actually get in the way of anything and acts as a pretty okay little melee weapon early on. You are a misogynist, unfortunately, and also a teetotaler, which is a bit unfortunate, but trigger happy, I don't know, maybe I give you a melee weapon, maybe you just use your hand talon, I don't know. I feel like you could also use a club or something like that and like still do hand talon attacks, but I'm also not sure if I give you an auto pistol or so, how, how does a game handle an auto pistol in melee if you have a built in melee weapon? Will you still use it? A little bit of everything, as far as the fundamentals go. And lastly, Mr. Green. Neurotic. That's it, that's all. You do construction, you do the mining, you do a bit of crafting, you can handle the melee. Shooting is awful. They're largely a melee colony this time around, I don't know. We do have a couple people with pretty alright shooting skills, so maybe we're okay doing a normal colony, but I might have to do something with like twisting mining alleyways just to help you know, pull people into melee ranch easier. See how it goes, I guess. Five bedrooms up here with a slab bed going on. The wood floor is all forbidden. We got wall torches that are in each room just for the super darkness, whatever. Those are also forbidden for the moment. Concrete floor outside for a bit of road, also forbidden. Utilizing this kind of ruined structure that we had started next to, it's a bit complicated. But we can get on the bottom left corner the butcher, uh, yeah, butcher table. You can already see it built there. Just above that's going to be the kitchen. And then we have the freezer on the right. We're extending that wall out eastward just to make a bit more room. And then the general dining slash recreation slash commons room. It's the multi-purpose everything early on room just above that. Eventually, I don't know what that becomes. No idea. I'll figure it out. Maybe I can even section some of it off and turn it into a makeshift prison for the moment. I don't know. May not be a bad idea, honestly. The rest of the ruins we're just deconstructing just to get a lot of steel. Hoping I can remove the flooring there of, of part of the freezer. And move that over into a battery room for the turbine that's off on the east. We do have the growing zones set up currently for a bit of cotton, a small bit of psychoid plant, a little bit of heel root. Can't currently do that, but can soon. And then corn. Why corn? Why not corn? Don't answer that. I know why not, but I'm doing it anyway. Brick schedule, stack of pancakes being the night owl kind of sort of is whatever for the moment. I think for now, I think I have to have you on everybody else's schedule. But the general idea is that you do a bit of recreation toward the end of your day so you can still link up and sync up with us. I say us, with the others, because otherwise you're always doing recreation on your own, and you don't really get a whole lot of social going on and connections being made with folks, and... I don't know. Weren't you also, like, a misogynist? No. Okay, that was somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Ugh, a lot of stuff going on. What books do we have? 
uh, Knowledge Chaonix. Hopefully the UI size is a bit better for you. Apologies for it being so small before. If it needs to be a bit bigger, let me know. It can be quite a lot bigger. I feel like this is definitely large enough, though. In this tedious commentary, a wise hare goes into detail... Sorry, a wise heir goes into detail about her recurring visions where she is being chased by herself and could not escape no matter how far she traveled. The volume is adorned with disturbing illustrations portraying a grotesque, otherworldly entity whose formless inky tendrils rather across the page invoking a sense of dread and fascination in equal measure. The book is mingling reality with fantasy willy-nilly. 4.7% mental break chance, but it just teaches void provocation, 0.15 per hour. Boah. I think that might be one of our first forbidden books there. Oh yeah, we should probably get the proximity detector installed somewhere, huh? Plunk that in, uh... I guess just there. I suppose. Continue the conduit up and it can just wire in there. With the constructions and the timetables and all that stuff being set up kind of more proper, I think a lot of stuff will actually get done here. Looking forward to that. We have here also a construction book, giving you up to five construction. When Gray wrote this, it was cutting edge in the field. It was during Gray's fourth marriage that he conceived of a textbook on construction. This led to his fourth divorce. Useful parts of this book are hidden among the biographical details. The front of the book seems attractive, but the pages appear to be written on crumbling parchment. Okay. It's just a book. And a standardized school book on gunplay, even though... Hey! Who dropped that? Neophyte. Oh, jeez. Uh, storage? Contents. The gunplay one. But let me also, uh... Can I... Actually, can I just assign... Hold on, let me see what this book is first. Can I just assign it, though, that we don't read the books that affect our mood negatively? Whoops. Son of a... <laughs> Spent days teaching in the Academy on Lutini. Taken from his lectures, makes clear the readers with knowledge of Arco tech information dissemination techniques tend to avoid the syllabus series, but not why. At first sight, there's nothing wrong with the book, but the pages are stained and dark. Substance. Okay. Yeah, shooting and also crafting. Interesting. A multi book. Yeah, all right. That ain't too good. But if I were to go assign reading policies, we're set to anything across the board. I guess disable the anomaly research for now. Like recreationally, I don't really mind. So maybe we go Uh, recreation. And that can be anything except the anomaly research, otherwise I don't really care. And anybody can be the... Couldn't I do like a right-click drag or something? Am I going nuts? Except whoever is usually in the best mood. Steadfast. Night Owl. Intellectual for it could be you, neurotic ascetic, abrasive optimist, plus six. Yeah, so stack, I suppose. You are set to properly anything, and then anything, obviously, you can do anomaly research stuff. Because it seems like the anomaly research things always increase your mental break chance, and that's not, not exactly what we're after here. Yeah, we got a bookshelf already. Move the urns around into slightly more suitable locations. The lights are around to give everybody a bit of vision. Pretty much just moving steel around for the most part here. Eventually we'll do a stockpile. 
Ideally when this wall's turned down so I can just like one big stockpile. Would be great. Now I suppose I claim all this so we can also repair it. Ah jeez. Look at stuff just happening though man. Whoa, this is way better already. <laughs> Incredible. As far as research goes. Yeah, get that battery done. It's like a bit of a mandatory first research, I feel like. But I ought to just start with the battery research already done. I feel like that's kind of fair. Oh, that's being put right in the doorway, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure if I can go there, then. We'll put the cooking table in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, I guess that means we gotta mine this out, too. Oh, no, it's already queued up. Okay. Excellent, excellent. The first night looks like we're gonna be sleeping on the floor. Once we get a little bit more done, stack of pancakes can be put on the nocturnal shift. It's just a matter of getting the basics done first off with them around, because you help out quite a bit with the construction, yeah? No, really, more of the plants, actually, which... Seems to be largely done. With the tree chopping going on, you can maybe finish it off. <laughs> Rebuffed by Capio. Capio, come on, don't be like the. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, no bed for Zello. Well, everybody else though has this kind of uncomfortable whatever thing, but slept on slab bed. Plus two. Nice. Quite nice. You gotta get used to this being our new symbol. Because <laughs> the symbol changes depending on the ideology as well. It's a little bit random. Yeah, just have a seat on Zello while they sleep. That's okay. Just have a little chat. Zello, you doing okay? Disturb sleep times 5,000? Was that, was that Zello being sat on again just then? Jeez. Scary. I suppose the coolers can be queued up too since that's part of the wall. And eventually the deacon- there we go. So now I can put in our stockpile zone. This is going to be critical importance for all foods. That's it. That's where the food goes. I guess currently just be off. Thanks. Not currently necessary to have it on. We don't really have the power for it either. Though I think we're okay to maybe switch over into a bit of research for folks then. We have... Yeah, we got enough wood. We could do a simple bunch. That's alright. I might even do a simple wooden wall here just to block it off into its own little office. Do you appreciate this? Put in a little wall porch lamp for you too. Some basic lighting for you. It's also already kind of floored up. Though I think I'll likely remove that floor too. It doesn't really need to be that floor. It's only one beauty and that stone that I could... I I think I get stone from doing that. The stuff that the roads come with, it's like a flagstone or something? That you don't get it with. Yeah, the flagstone you don't get any materials back for, but the stone block floor, I, th I think we do. Who's meant to be mining right now? Hello? Ah, Mr. Green. I see. Mr. Green, I'm gonna set you to two on construction. Most stuff is done. Thanks. Build a copy there. What is that? Capio, what are you carrying? Oh, it's a granite chunk. Okay. It looks... It looks so different. Hmm. <sighs> and just a dumping stockpile zone, I guess, over here for the... 
non-rotten corpses, but otherwise, yeah, chunks can go over there. Let's get these things out of here. I don't really want to look at them. And then a general stockpile zone here for everything else. It's going to be pretty ugly. I know. But we got some stuff that's just still outside sitting and slowly deteriorating. Don't want the... Hey, everybody's got a bed now. Excellent. I think we can switch over stack schedule. You might have a, a bit of a rough day, but your sleep's mostly fine. And yeah, there's the fallen monolith. Uh, I mean, we don't mind the corpses. Could you not? Okay, yeah, all right. Jeez, stack. You're a real wise guy, you know what? I think you're so clever. And go ahead and put Rotten out there. I mean, again, we don't really care about corpses, so if we walk outside and see them, it doesn't matter much. And these are already skeletons, so they don't even stink. Eh. We're missing something for this? Just a bit of wood and steel. Are we out of steel? We might be out of steel. Okay. Uh, we've got some right there. We can mine that vein. That is okay. We'll look at doing the void thing here in a moment once we get the basics set up. Perhaps a fueled stove at the start. And then that light needs power. Okay, we're good. It just wasn't reaching. And then that urn put off in the corner. So, butcher table, butcher creature, do forever! As long as it's somewhat local, I like doing that as just a safety, just to ensure that it's not something that's unforbidden for some reason on the other corner of the map. I wouldn't expect it, but... i bring these down to freezing. Minus two, and then like, minus six, something. Minus three, minus six, maybe. Cool. Then yeah, we're getting blocks for that. Excellent. A decent amount of blocks, too. Two per. That will suffice for a battery room. Mm, where does said battery room go? I guess over here would be a nice kind of spot. Just mine out something a bit square-ish. Ooh with a sandstone door up there, I guess. Let's get rid of that. Good, I think that'll be enough room for a few batteries. Speaking of, research table is done. Should I give you a stool? Do you... You don't really care about comfort, though. It's like actually not even a, a need. <laughs> okay, nice. Vagabonds seek charity. Whoa, a lot of people begging for silver. So they can buy back a friend who was recently kidnapped. Okay. Hey, hey guys. Combat and darkness preferred, drug use essential, charity essential, dark light preferred. Okay. Where's the rest of you? Oh. Down here. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The party of guilt, dirt mole. Ah, 
I see. Uh, so that's why you're mining is during is because that's like modified by your uh was general type or whatever. Slow learner, trigger happy, wimp tough, tortured artist. Too smart, misandrous, chemical interest. That's an interesting combo. Psychically deaf because of you uh being Hassar, I guess. Engineered soldier is greedy, teetotaler, neurotic, but incapable of violence, dumb labor, and social. Some hussar you are. Not a baseliner. Bloodlust. Um, I'll probably turn you guys back. Maybe you can help me fight whatever raid comes our way. Huh? <laughs> Any thoughts on that? Oops. What is that? Oh hey, can search the map with Zed. Amazing. I meant T for beauty. Or rather, T T, -t like I guess. Goodness. <sighs> Alright. Battery room. Uh buried conduit, right? Make sure you get this. Thanks. Get that wall done. Cause yeah, I can like battery, battery. Pretty much just like battery, battery, battery. I don't know if I get one along this wall or not. Hmm. We'll see. But forbid that. So stack. What do you do all day? Plants, social shooting, wandering around mostly. You, uh... Hmm... Hmm... I suppose. We can do a little bit of stone cutting since apparently we just start with that knowledge. I'm not used to starting with it. It's an outdoors area, but I don't really care. And otherwise, just pop out a bit with the research. God, we're terrible at the research, though. Oh, it is so bad. I guess we can dark study this thing. Seeing what folks are up to. Okay, dude, go research that thing. Oh. Shapes begin to flow in KPU's vision. Surfaces and changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. Black shape is forming in our mind. Anomaly is stirring. Keep focusing. You've got this. It's a cool effect. So now we got the anomaly buildings, anomaly research tab, the entity codex. Yep. Okay. Cool. And another gray pal. That's all right. So you're studying this first off. We're going to say normal research first, please. Although possibly void provocation will start up straight away since you're getting points right now anyway. At these points, you're just straight up wasted otherwise. Ah, uh, yeah, and the Harbinger tree. The Harbinger tree seems to always be there. Okay. Create corpse stockpile. Uh, non-rotten corpses, though. Oh, actually, you know what? Have rotten corpses, too. I don't care. Whatever. Critical importance. But not... Technically, cannibalism's cool, I guess. Uh. <sighs> Insect corpses, sure. The rest of that is, I think, okay. Like, what corpses do I not care about? 
colonist corpses I, I do care about, because we have like a specific burial thing that we do. Though if there is no corpse, it says that I can still just select the grave and do that, so maybe that'd be okay. You know what? Throw all the human corpses down there. It's not the animals. We're going to butcher them. Only because it's easier to hunt animals than it is to hunt people, because there's no people in the wildlife tab. <laughs> bit sick sounding but it's the truth are we uh, are we gonna give these guys money or what what's what's the deal with they're still here they're here and they're starving they got cool flop hats stack you want to give 58 silver to coco they'll probably just come back we don't really care about charity but maybe we still feel good about it chemical want uh, fascinated by drugs I want to experience them more man too bad soon I'm gonna give you something soon and the caravan of war merchant coming by Ooh, that's a nice thing to find early on oh hi ancient tank trap okay a lot of ruins and stuff. Man. 